They last met in November 2006 in St. Saviour's Convent and now the preparations are in full swing to welcome them back here in Jerusalem. The preparations are going well and we are well on track and we are expecting about a hundred commissionaries from all over the world. Currently, the commissaries of the Holy Land are distributed in 44 countries around the world for a total of 84 commissariats. From January 30 to February 4, they will gather here in the Holy City for what will be the third Congress in their history. Among the hundred participants, a large majority will be friars, but there will also be lay people who work with the commissaries. Their tasks are to organize pilgrimages, to make known the Holy Land in their own regions among the faithful of their territory, and also to help the Holy Land economically through a series of initiatives and actions, all in order to support the custody of the Holy Land. It will be a busy week marked by many events and powerful moments of prayer in the holy places and then the long work sessions with presentations and discussions on various topics. They are especially related to the economy. Because the global crisis is also affecting the custody of the Holy Land, the Holy Land and its Christians. And so, we must find new strategies to support the work of the Franciscans in the Holy Land. A second topic will be communication. The communication done through magazines and multimedia. A third topic will be to write a sort of operational guide that the commissionaries of the world will have to follow in their service to the custody. The main protagonist, says Father Giorgio Vigna, will be the commissaries of the Holy Land themselves, who will meet with the leadership of the custody. A novelty will be the creation of the Office for the Coordination of Commissaries of the Holy Land, which for a few months now has had its headquarters here in Jerusalem at the Castel del Curia. Its main purpose is to be a valuable on-site point of reference, and in this way to be a bridge between the leadership of the custody and the commissaries. Since the beginning of 1400, the commissionaries of the Holy Land have existed, but there has never been such an office here in Jerusalem, and so it is up to us to create it and to be assisted with this service. The meeting of the commissaries of the Holy Land from around the world will be an important one for the opportunity of sharing and mutual understanding, for the work of analysis and verification of the goals towards the revitalization of the activities of the commissaries and ultimately for the good of the Holy Land, known with good reason as the Pearl of the Missions of the Order of the Friars Minor. <laughs>